what is up my dudes it's ariel if you don't know me or if you do know me welcome what is up i hope you're all doing well today i have a favorites video for you for december because right now i'm filming this on new year's eve the last day of december i wish i could post it on the last day of december but i'm kind of behind on editing and stuff but hopefully it's not too overdue but yeah let's just get into my december favorites Okay, so first, I am super sad to have to say that this is gonna be my last video for a bit, or my last like consistent video, I guess. I start school on January 3rd, and I'm gonna be repeating a class I already took that I didn't pass, so I kind of really have to pass it this time. So I'm gonna just be taking some time to really focus, get back in the groove of school, because I haven't been a student for about eight or nine months at this point so yeah and i'm also gonna be moving into a new place adjusting to my new surroundings a lot of changes going on so just gonna take some time in the beginning of the new year to kind of recoup regroup make sure that i'm prioritizing school and stuff because that's what's going on and you know i messed it up the first time just a little bit so really want to get it right this time hope you guys understand love you so much i I will still be posting but it just won't be consistent like every Tuesday as it has been in the past so maybe a video or two a month I'll try so it's not gonna be like nothing but it's just not gonna be consistent anymore for the duration of me just taking this course because it was a lot of stress last time trying to manage school and YouTube every week consistently so I've pre-filmed a lot of stuff which I will be editing and try to post as I get a chance and I also plan on filming some new stuff some moving stuff but it'll just be a bit delayed and not as consistent really wanted to start with that so that no one thinks I'm just like disappearing or dropping off the face of the earth because I'll be a bit quieter on social media for the next couple months or so presumably I think hopefully I'll be able to find a good happy medium for the both of them but in the case that I do have to decide I am going to be prioritizing school in this season because I feel like I prioritize YouTube and social media stuff and whatever for this past season and this past year 2021 and it's been so fun and such a good time and I'm so thankful for you guys for just being so supportive and making it something I enjoy and just letting me share stuff with you guys because it's been so fun and it's really made 2021 what it has been for me but as we move into the new year some changes are going on um, whether I like it or not so yeah here's to change and here's to you guys I appreciate you more than I can even say and with that being said let's actually get into the favorites so I usually start out with what I have been up to this month and that's a good chunk of it prepping to get ready to go back to school prepping to move right now my room is a mess doesn't look like it but pretty much everything that's not in frame is just all over the place right now so that has been taking up a lot of my time and and also working I just finished working at that place I was working seasonally retail it was a really good experience I liked it it was only two months but the two months I did work was crazy this month at the beginning of the month two of my six co-workers got COVID and were out so they had me working overtime doing a lot I didn't mind it like it was a really nice job actually like it was pretty chill and pretty fun definitely beats my food service job but it was just just a lot especially when I had a lot of other stuff to do but yeah that's over so in these couple days before I move I've just been trying to get myself together get my life together all of that in my last video I was talking about how since I was at work all the time when I'm not at work I would want to do stuff and like do things and go places and not just like sit and watch TV and going on and on about how oh I want to do stuff but honestly this month that couldn't be less true all I've been wanting to do 
is just relax with the little time I have and watch shows I never got to watch throughout the year before I kind of just don't have time anymore to like do those things and just relax and have time for myself so I've been doing a lot of that as well so I do have some good show recommendations for you guys and yeah that's pretty much it for this month feels like it's been a super long month for whatever reason I am not a fan of the holidays I don't know but we survived we made it January is here and I'm not mad at it but yeah let's just hop right in and move on to my music favorites this month so because I've been at work sometimes they let me choose the music most of my music would not fly playing in the store but one album that I have been loving and I would play it every day when I go to work is Hive Mind by the internet and this was a favorite of mine the summer that it came out like I would listen to it every day but that was like two years ago I think it was in 2019 but I was obsessed with that album when it just came out and then I slowly just stopped listening to it as one does but this has reinvigorated my love for this album I love the internet so much I saw them live at Afropunk I think that same summer that the album came out and for some reason I stopped listening to an artist after I see them live maybe other people can relate to this it makes no sense to me but after I see an artist live or I see them perform right after the release of an album if I've been listening to that album a lot after I see them perform I never touch the album again it happened with Igor it happened with this album Hive Mind it happened with Steve Lacey with his most recent album I don't know why I do it but I, it just happens. However, rediscovering that album after not listening to it for so long has been so nice. Love all the songs, literally no skips, and it's just a beautiful album. I love the internet, internet stan, and yeah, so that has definitely been one of my favorites for this month. And like that album, another favorite of mine, which is an old favorite that I've been like rediscovering because I listen to it at work, is You're the One by Kei Trinata and Sid from the internet. Great song. Love it. Can't get enough of it. Love all of Kei Trinata's music. Just the best. Like, just the best. And that song is no exception. Also, I love Sid. We love it. We love to hear it. We love to see it. Yes. So those were kind of the same, but now on to, I guess, more of what would be my regular music favorites. More so what I listen to, like, on a regular basis, outside of work, I guess. So one is Girl Toy by Asia. A-Y-E-G-Y. -Y. Don't know how to say their name, but such a good song. Just a bop. Just a bop. If I listen to it with like headphones in and I'm walking somewhere, like it's just a vibe. Like I don't know how to describe it, but it's the moment. It's everything. I love it. They're a small artist. I just randomly found the song on TikTok because they were trying to promote it. And it worked because I'm a stan now and I love their music, but especially the song. Okay, next favorite, Deserve It by Yi. I feel like I don't need to say much about this one. Good song. It's a bop. I would listen to Yi here and there, but a DJ I like made a mix, and this song was in it, and I can't stop listening to that mix, and it has spilled over to me listening to each song individually as well, so now my playlist is just like songs from that mix, but so good. 10 out of 10. The bells just get me every time, like... Ugh, I, I just love it. So good. Next song, Vacation Bible School by Aisha Erotica. Another one, just a banger. Like, literally just so good. And again, it's the sound effects more than anything. Like, the sound effect of, like, the car screeching or whatever. For some reason, it just gets me. If you haven't listened to the song, you're like, what is this girl talking about? But give it a listen. It won't disappoint. So good. And then lastly, Vintage LSD 2 by Young Bruh, aka Lil Trey. Tracy. Good song. I feel like I have a little Tracy favorite every month, but that is my favorite for this month. Vintage LSD 2. Yes. Now, moving on to my media favorites of this month. So, I go through deep phases of loving TV and not having the focus to watch TV. And this month was a loving TV month. I think last month was definitely, I did not have the attention span or care to watch TV. But this month, it came through. And we're starting off with the show that I guess is my top 
top favorite for this month. It wasn't amazing, like it really wasn't, but it was just good enough for me to binge watch it and watch every episode in two days. It was definitely a step up above like your regular average garbage TV, but it wasn't like groundbreaking. It wasn't crazy, but it was good. Like it was cute, it was a good little show. Oh, I should say the name of the show. So The Sex Lives of College Girls. I would see ads for this all the time and be like, yeah, I'm not watching that. That show looks like trash. But it was actually so good. Well, not like so good, but it was good. Like it was a good watch. It was a cute little show. And I really enjoyed watching it. It was definitely such a nice little escape. I love that it took place on a college campus just for the fact that I miss it a little bit. Not really, but I love the change of setting. I don't know, HBO never really misses, not gonna lie. And this was no exception. They did get rid of Generation though, which was probably my favorite HBO show next to Euphoria. But if you haven't watched Generation, I already mentioned it as a favorite months ago, but watch it. I'll probably be watching it again. But I guess they kind of redeemed themselves with not renewing Generation for another season by bringing on Sex Lives with College Girls, even though it will never compare to Generation. Generation was way better, but it was a good show. I really enjoyed watching it and yeah. So the next favorite for media is the new season of Bob's Burgers. I don't know how new it is because I kind of just stopped checking for new episodes, but Bob's Burgers is probably like one of my favorite shows of all time. I just love it. I love all the characters. That show has got me through so much. It's the perfect little escape. It's so lighthearted and kind of wholesome, but funny still without being too much, you know? It's just the best show. In my opinion, it's like the best adult cartoon or one of my favorites at least. I know that there are some good ones, but this one just pulls on my little heartstrings. Like in no other adult cartoon show, save for like Bojack Horseman, I feel such an attachment to the characters, but I think that they write them so well. They're all so likable and funny and relatable and I just love it. So yeah, when I realized there was another season of Bob's Burgers, I was so excited and then I binge watched it all, but I'm definitely gonna watch it again. I already started rewatching some of the episodes, but yeah, I was super, super happily surprised to see that there was a new season. So yeah, go watch it if you didn't know like me. Next media favorite is Soul Eater, the anime. I haven't gotten very far into it. I started watching it earlier this month and I watched about 10 episodes and it was really good. I love the animation style. It reminds me a lot of older Cartoon Network shows from the 90s. A little bit like Courage the Cowardly Dog, which I love, love, love. So yeah, I've really been enjoying watching Soul Eater. Not really a topic I would go towards. Like I prefer anime to be more like drama rather than I guess action or horror a little bit, not really. But I prefer more realistic, I guess, anime topics versus stuff that are like more out there. But I think that it really works in Soul Eater and I love the animation style. So yeah, really excited to get back into that and watch the rest of the episodes. I've heard great things about it and I've seen great things from it. So yeah, it's been a good little watch here and there. And lastly, I barely watched this show, but I came across it and I thought it was cute. So I figured I'd recommend it. For any other people who love adult animation, Poorly Drawn Lines on Hulu. I've watched maybe three or four episodes and it's kind of good. I don't know how I feel about it fully yet, but I've really enjoyed it so far. I never saw any ads or promo for it. I just came across it on Hulu. And yeah, I also think that the characters are so cute, like the animation style. So yeah, I've enjoyed that as well. I think it's funny. I think it's pretty dry, which I like. And yeah, so those have been my favorites. Also regular show I've been watching a lot, but I mentioned it in a previous month. So I wasn't gonna like include it as a proper favorite. Okay, moving on to clothing slash purchases that have been my favorite. I'm going to start with this ring. It's the Rat Girl in Heaven collab from Heaven and Stray Rats. It's the Rat Girl signet ring. It has a double-headed teddy as drawn by Julian on the front and then Rat Girl on the inside that faces your hand. It's not focusing. Whatever. I picked it up because I was like, why not? I love the entire collab and I think I might be getting some pieces from it, but I did want to make sure I got the ring myself. So yeah, that's why I got it. I was going to get it on Online and then it sold out because I stopped to think about it for too long, which is like why but I ended up just picking it up in the store I'm gonna talk about it more in another video where I like unbox it with some other retail purchases But yeah, 
yeah, I just picked it up from the store. It was such a good price, 35 I think, retail. It's a size eight. I've been wearing it all the time. Only thing is it's brass, so I don't know how it will hold up in terms of like rusting and stuff like that. So if anyone knows how to care for brass jewelry, let me know. I've been taking it off when I wash my hands and stuff. But yeah, any tips would be appreciated. Okay, my next clothing favorite has been this puffer tote bag. This is from Oak and Fort. I've been carrying it like every day. I carry it to work and stuff. It fits so much in there and it has like a laptop compartment so I think I'm gonna be using it as well when I go to school and just throw my school stuff in there my laptop my notebook it has a lot of space I planned originally on using my Telfar as like my school bag I also have a messenger bag but something about that bag it's so easy to just like carry with anything it's solid and I already scratched it up quite a bit because I was carrying it like every day for the past two months so it's kind of scratched up and for some reason I don't know I really like using stuff that are already like beat up and that I don't have to like care about you know I don't know if that makes sense but like I have like nice clothes but yet still I always reach for a beaten up hoodie or like something that's really worn that I don't care about but is like soft or like serves the purpose that I need I don't know can people relate like I have really nice clothes but yet still I reach for my house clothes every single day without fail like the same pair of sweatpants the same two or three hoodies that are like way worn in and thrifted and old I don't know but this bag gives me those vibes like I don't really have to keep good care of it like obviously I'm not trying to destroy it but like I could just throw it on with anything it's reliable it could fit a ton of stuff it's just trusted you know it's a trusted favorite it's reliable it's dependable and if something happens to it I'm okay with that that's what I mean so yeah this puffer tote has been a big big favorite of mine I'll link it below if they still have it on the website next is another bag which I have not been carrying as often but I've been styling it a lot when I am putting on outfits for some reason I just reach for this bag I think it's just the cutest thing ever I unboxed it in a Depop unboxing a while back but it's just so cute it's a perfect pop of color and I've been loving it it's also a pretty good size like I could fit a good amount of stuff in there I could take it to the city with me and fit my phone my wallet just like the necessities a bottle of water whatever so yeah I just think it's the cutest I know granny square is everywhere this season and is becoming very trendy which I am on board with I think it's super cute I've always been a big fan of granny square I love the granny square cardigan I have but I think the bag is such a cute little addition that you could throw on and incorporate it into any fit I've been wanting the granny square scarf from urban outfitters and it was on sale too but but for some reason I didn't buy it probably because I know I don't need another scarf seeing as though I never really wear scarves anyway but yeah have been really loving that bag and I have one more favorite I just have to go grab it okay so my last clothing slash purchase favorite has been this Aphex twin beanie and I meant to incorporate it in my favorites last month but I don't think I did but I wanted to make sure that it's in this one wasn't even really wearing it much this month I wore it more when I had locks and I'm gonna do locks again for when I go to school so I'm sure that this will be another favorite of mine but it's a great size and it's reversible so you could have like the white background and black Aphex Twin logo like in the album cover I'm pretty sure and then the black with the white logo which I wear more but I just really love it it's super cool I was super hesitant on buying it just because it was like 60 bucks for a beanie but worth literally every penny I'd buy it again I think it might be sold out I got it on Depop but yeah Avex Twin, my favorite artist. Well, second favorite artist, according to my Spotify wrapped. But yeah, we love it. I've been wanting some Avex Twin merch in general. And the actual licensed merch is so expensive and also just not that cute. Like the Avex Twin bleep tote bag is maybe the only thing that I think is like cute and maybe worth it. But I can't find one anywhere for sale and it would still be super expensive. But like the hoodies and stuff, that's actual merch is really ugly <laughs> not really ugly but it's just not all that like the design isn't super cute to where I'd spend 250 on a hoodie if it was a little different maybe I would but not for something so plain and the vintage tees and like vintage merch is cool if you could find it and it's not like $400 <laughs> so yeah I think that the hat was like the perfect way for me to show my love and like appreciation for the artist while also being cute and like somewhat affordable I want to find 
some more merch and I really want a Richard poster like Richard with huge tits for my apartment if I could find it somewhere but I also think it's kind of scary like the Richard face but it's also so iconic like especially that specific one like the Richard head on the girl in a bikini I just love it so maybe I will get that for my apartment I think it would be very fun and I also kind of want a hoodie I saw some on Etsy and stuff but I don't know I kind of feel weird about like getting merch like that I feel different about the beanie because it was like handmade by someone and it's like their small thing and I'm looking for brands who make Apex Twin merch in like a tasteful way and it's not just a rip but yeah let me know my fellow Apex fans if you come across any cool merch because I would like to buy it I think I might get a hoodie or like a crew neck or something on Etsy but like Mm, I don't know, but I wear that beanie all the damn time and also my dad thought it was a weed symbol like a weed leaf like Girl what and it also made me think like oh do people just think I'm wearing like a weed beanie or something people who like aren't familiar with the Apex Twin logo I don't know was also thinking <laughs> of getting an Apex Twin logo tattoo, but I'm not going to but I have been heavily considering it I think it would be funny just like here or something. I won't but I might but I won't but I mm, May no, I'm not Maybe. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so that was it for my clothing and purchase favorites. And my last favorite category that I do is food, right? Food. And I haven't really had any food favorites this month, I don't think. But I, I think I've had one. Wait, let me think about it. Never mind, I guess because I can't think of it, so it must not have even been that good. So, I suppose that takes us to the end of this video, and I guess my videos for a while? I should post at least one video in January, hopefully. If not, definitely February, because I have something that I like actually contractually have to post. But yes, I will be back soon. Do not worry, do not cry, do not fret. And I'll be back to regular posting as soon as I'm done with school, but I just have to make school this priority, get this one class done, graduate I mean I will still have med school in the fall but like we got this we got this I will have my undergrad degree I just gotta finish this one class okay just hold on all the best for 2022 is that it yeah 2022 that is crazy all the best I believe in you we got this we got this thank you for making 2021 literally such a good year for me it wasn't the best year but without you guys it would have been really bad so I love you so much and thank you so much for all your support your love your comments everything like it means the world to me and yeah with that all the best in 2022 i mean this from the core of my being the bottom of my heart you all deserve the best for the new year so yeah peace and love peace and love for a little bit take care of yourselves i will try to take care of myself and i'll see you in a little bit it's not even gonna be that long trust me okay i'll be right back later mm -hmm.